In this helpful tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple object using the Autodesk 3ds Max Studio. We've got the basic interface ahead of us with the, th the four different points of view. And we're going to go and look at the right hand side where we've got the tool section. Okay, so we've got the objects box open at the moment and there's different types of object that you can select. Now you can use a whole combination of these simple objects to shape them into anything you want really. And today we're going to start with making a box. We just want to left click on the box and we go to the perspective view. We left click and we drag across and along and then we just release the left hand mouse button to drag upwards to create the height of the box and then by left clicking, left clicking the mouse you lock it. Okay, and you've created a simple box. Now if you want to manipulate the size, shape and the rotation of the box, let me show you the, the different shortcuts cuts that we use. First of all, if you press W on your keyboard, this will allow you to move the box along the different planes. If you go to the view at the view section at the top and you go to show transform gizmo, this actually helps you to uh, manipulate the movements and rotation and scaling of the of the object that you've created. So this is what's called a gizmo and it shows you the three different splines that we uh, modify our objects along, the X, Y and the Z and they're uh, always in different colors. We've got blue, uh, yellow and uh, the red here. Now if you click in the middle this will allow you to move the whole object. If you click on just one spline it'll allow you to move just along that spline by moving your mouse. Let's move her up a bit. Okay. So this is how you move objects. If you want to rotate, you simply click on the E button on your keyboard and you get your rotation gizmo. Again, it uses the green, yellow and red colors. And if you just rotate along the yellow axis here, we get rotation like this. Let me rotate her sideways to show you. And let's rotate along the blue axis. Okay, so that's how you rotate. If you click your R on your keyboard, you get the, the scaling uh, gizmo. If you click in the middle, it affects the whole object. And again, if you click on just one part of the spline, you just change one axis of the object. Okay, this is how you create and modify the object. Now if you want to use the steering wheel, which is a very uh, essential mouse tool to get a hold of, what you need to um, do is you need to press Shift and W and this will give you what is called the, the steering wheel. You can see that there are various things on the steering wheel. Let me just show you how it works by pressing Zoom. If you click on the Zoom button on the steering wheel, by moving your mouse up and down or left and right, you can zoom in or out of the picture. When you let go of your left mouse button, you will get the steering wheel again. Let's click on pan, pan the picture along these axes by moving your mouse button. And again, if you let go of the left mouse button, you get your steering wheel again. If you want to get rid of the steering wheel, you simply have to right click and that gets rid of the steering wheel. We've now gone through how to create a simple object and how to manipulate it in Autodesk 3ds Max and in the next videos we'll be going along how to create more complex uh, figures out of simple objects.